So a quantum computer is computing in the way that nature computes. It's not human contrived. The rules aren't ours. The rules are the rules of nature. One is we discovered that natural language processing is quantum native. Now, this is very exciting because we have similarly been struggling since the 1930s with natural language processing. You know, these current machines don't know what we're talking about. And we were very excited by chat GPT-3, but it, it hasn't moved the needle in what can and can't be done. It's just brute force and it remains opaque and unaccountable. It's very exciting at the moment for classical computers to do this, but a quantum computer changes the paradigm and we can have transparent, accountable, big scale natural language processing, quantum natural language processing. So that's a project we're working on that would require fault tolerant quantum computers before it became scalable. The, the expertise that exists in German secondary and tertiary, sorry, tertiary and postgraduate research, I think is probably unparalleled. I mean, I would have to say, uh, uh, I don't know of any other place in the world where that concentration of um, excellence exists. I would then say that Germany has really taken a, a sharp turn around about 2017, 2018, because the commitment to funding the development of quantum technologies and the associated impact on the economic system is deep and meaningful. It is not trivial. And this is reflected, of course, in the budgets. And then, and this is the key, we found that a relatively large number of German corporate organizations, so this is commercial companies, were investing in quantum technologies in a way that is very, very rare, but they were doing it systematically. And I don't think there's anywhere else in Germany or frankly in Europe that is even close to what is happening in Bavaria. So this is point number one. But to answer your question, um, you know, these things always happen with a spark, a catalyst. And for me, in 2016, I remember, it might have been 2017, I think it's 2016, there was a meeting in Munich, which had been um, sponsored by Google, who, as you know, they're sort of effective quantum headquarters are based in, in Munich, in Bavaria. And probably at that time, if you took a photograph of all the people who were there, today they are the people who are the leaders globally in quantum. People came from the States, people came from Japan, from Australia, from Britain, from France. And I don't know that that could have happened anywhere else. I mean, possibly Cambridge, possibly Oxford, um, certainly not Silicon Valley. And that degree of, I call it the long thread, that long thread still continues to this day. Getting an office was easy. Finding qualified staff has been relatively easy. Um, doing practical work. And I have to say, you know, uh, the German uh, collaborators actually stepping up to the plate. You know, we've just um, been involved in a very big um, research consortium that's won a funding award, which is partially uh, funded by the Bavarian government, the state government. And we have collaborators in corporations and they have already invested in, in quantum experts. So if we go to a company and we don't have to start a six month or 12 month journey to tell them what quantum is because they've already invested and they already know. So then the dialogue is very different. The dialogue is not what is quantum. The dialogue is how can we work together?
So these things are happening in Bavaria, and I'm not just because I'm on this podcast. I, I can honestly say to you, very, very, very few places have that. You know, my personal faith is I'm a Catholic, and, and so for me, I, you know, when I'm there in Munich and I wander into the cathedral, I don't know, I, it, it, it's beautiful. It's utterly, utterly beautiful for me. So this is just one little example um, of why I personally like um, Bavaria and Munich. And the other example, I think, is that, you, you know, I talk about the long threads. I really do believe that, um, you know, the Bavarian ecosystem and the state government also, to a certain extent, I have to say, um, the UK national programme, we are working on the long threads. We're not talking about jumping up and down tomorrow and saying, hey, you know, aren't we smart? I, I really like that. The step by step by step. This is, yeah, this is needed. Mm -hmm.